Bang. Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is in the background. Yeah. And this is a pretty uh, exciting unboxing. So this is a package sent by the same person who actually got me this background. This awesome, awesome background that has totally made our video so much better. The thing is, though, is I have no idea what's in here. I'm pretty excited about it. This is the Tucson TS-195 Integral amazing amazing tucson one of the best um in my opinion that they've made um they don't do too many integrals um uh, i think there's a couple other ones that i might like a little bit better but man i love this knife it's just such an amazing knife um all right let's get into this thing oh that's why it's not oh no like why is this thing not opening up Pretty excited. I have no idea what this is. Close the two, son. All right. Oh, it goes this way. What is that? <laughs> Holy cow, this thing's a beast. What? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Look at that. What is going on right now? <laughs> I can't touch the blade at all. <laughs> First flip. Whoa. This is just pure insanity. <laughs> oh, this makes me smile. Wow. I Ooh, that action though wow that is crazy cool <laughs> this thing's a monster wow this thing let me see i want to see some it weighs more than the 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 fighter the medford fighter that i mean but obviously right this is a thick blade this is beyond thick <laughs> this thing's like as thick as a knife just a blade what i wonder what that stock thickness is oh my god that thing's thick does it have i can't tell is that a flat grind or a hollow i think it's a hollow yep We've got a hollow grind here gets down to a thick edge obviously uh, this thing is crazy the action is uh, <laughs> pretty amazing, but you'd imagine so since it weighs 10 pounds. <sighs> oh, wow. Let's check out the... Where's the stop pin? Oh, it's internal stop pins. Okay. Yeah, that thing locks up, though. Pretty decent. Oh, yeah, that thing is solid. <laughs> it's basically like a folding pry bar. That's what this thing is, a folding pry bar. Definitely want to get your finger. I mean, you got this tab in the way, so I guess you don't have to worry about your fingers getting hit. It actually, even though it's so heavy, it kind of gracefully comes down. Like, like some knives I have, like uh, my XM24, when it comes down, it slams like that, kind of. Like, like that. This more or less just floats down. Pretty nice. Nice and centered. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I have no idea what it is um, or who makes it or anything. I can see it's got a lock bar insert. I can see it's got a lock bar stabilizer, titanium milled clip, um, access to the lock bar. Obviously, just fine because the blade is so thick that you're going to have plenty of uh, access This thing's crazy. Now, the one thing, though, is this flipper tab is a massive, but it kind of has to be, right? But when you flip it, your finger goes right in to the hole. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a cool titanium clip. I actually like this. That's a cool clip. Is it titanium? 
Whoa! I can't what tell. is that? Yeah, it's titanium. <laughs> it's a beast. I want it. <laughs> what the? F it flips. <laughs> Look Does how it cut? I don't know. Look how well, thick it, the blade is. It goes down aggressively. Yeah, though. it's got a hollow. Yeah, I can feel that it's hollow. But, like, look at the blade I stock thickness. I have never bro. wanted a knife more in my life. If this was smaller... Look at the stock thickness compared to that. <laughs> Even the size. I mean, it's basically it the same like length. Custom something yeah, like. it's got to be a custom knife I love from that. Oh, my God, Hilly. He looks like his name is Chuck. Chuck? You know Doesn't what? it? Doesn't it look like a Chuck? His name's Chuck. They call him Chuck. Woodchuck is his full name. Man, I feel like you could Careful. really chop with this thing. I know. Could though. you not do it right towards your own hand? Is that cool? Oh, babe, it's my own hand, baby. I, I can tell I, how far I, I am. I can tell own. how far I am, baby. Um, but you never know. The weight could just take you forward. <laughs> <laughs> Pull me out of the chair. Yeah. Try to cut this paper with it. Oh, I don't know do if it, it'll do, do it, that. Do it. Right. I knew it. I knew it was going to work. Bad. I could tell. Not bad. It'll cut. I mean, you can tell with the hollow. I mean, I just don't know how many sharpens you can get out of it before I feel like. Right. I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it cuts. Um, it's probably like. Your blade will cut. I'm guessing, just a guess, 30 thousandths behind the edge, maybe 25, 30 thousandths. Um, it could definitely have a good razor sharp edge put on because it's not really that sharp. It's just, it's got an edge. That's the thing. That's, you know, it doesn't take much to go through paper as long as there's a good apex on the tip. It's the sound that you're listening for. Like, you guys can't feel it either, but if you could feel it, it's how gracefully it goes through. But it's not bad considering. You know, but very, very cool. Either way, um, I almost want to grab another piece of paper and keep cutting with it. Definitely got a lot of uh, landing zone there for your thumb. And you can get up really close to that blade. This really stops you, though. Um, also, since it is so big, you know, it does uh, like it comes through and it'll hit you. You know, so you just got to know where it's at. Kind of go like that and let it come through. I wonder what blade steel this is. Because I, I see a little patina. Unless that's something that dripped on it. And, oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's just something on it. But, yeah, I don't see any markings at all whatsoever. Um, I have no idea who or what makes it. What steel or anything this thing is. Nice stone washing, though. But, yeah, there you guys go. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, man, this thing's cool. Ed, thank you, man. Thank you for putting a smile on my face and definitely cracking me up. And thank you for everything you're, you're doing for us and that you've done for us. You've been so awesome to us and the channel. And... Yeah, we can't thank you enough. Support from the community means everything to us. And, you know, it's not only just for the channel, but it also means a lot to us personally. So thank you. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace.